I am elated to share with you the Food Forest Starter Bundle. In this one package, this one bundle, you have what you need to start the foundation of a food forest. Now that is some serious power in your hands. We are on a mission to help you to break free from the global industrial food system, to break free from the grocery store. And this bundle is one of the best resources that I could come up with to help you do just that. Now, in this bundle, we have included the easiest to grow and most productive foods for Florida. There's about 30 different plants. And what we focused on are the ones that have the fewest insects or pests that are gonna eat them, that take the least water and fertility and take the least time to manage while having a very productive yield so you get a lot of food. So you can actually break free from the grocery store. So I am so ready to show you what is in the package and I've, all, I've got it all laid out for you so that one, you can just get to know the plants a little bit, but if you lose your labels, you can refer to this to see exactly what they look like. First, you have your cassava or yucca. And you can see this has pretty large nodes and this is a very woody cutting. There are three chaya. There are three lemongrass. Here is the sweet potato and there are three of these. Oh, I love elderberry. There's so much medicine and power in the elderberry. We've got two varieties of mulberry. This is your native variety. This is a very woody cutting. And then we've got our dwarf ever bearing mulberry here. This is the Cuban oregano. Oh, and does the Cuban oregano just spread out and produce a lot. Here we have the Tithonia or the Mexican sunflower or Bolivian sunflower, other names that it goes by. This is kind of a, a lighter, it's not a dense woody cutting. Then we have the blue spur flower or Plecranthus barbatus, the toilet paper plant. This is, we have two different perennial spinaches in here. This is the Okinawa spinach. There's three cuttings of that. It's uh, more purple. And then this is the longevity spinach, which also can have some purple, but is more green. Three cuttings of that as well. We have three cuttings of the African blue basil. And then we have the katuk, three cuttings of katuk here. And then rosemary, three cuttings of rosemary. So everything that I just showed you, there's three cuttings of. Now we have one of the spineless nopal cactus, one of the galangal ginger rhizome, and generally this will not have the growth coming off of it. It'll just be a dormant rhizome, most likely. And then your turmeric. So those were all the cuttings and now I want to introduce you to the seeds. So we have pigeon pea or gandules and I'm going to tell you the approximate seed number, but that could change. Uh, for now, these are our approximate seed numbers. Next is Moringa, there's about five of those, and uh, I think for the pigeon pea, gandulus, there's about 15. For southern pea or cow pea, there's about 20 seeds. Seminole pumpkin is about seven seeds. Everglades tomato is about 10 seeds. Papaya, 10 seeds approximately. Ethiopian kale or East African kale or Amara is about 50 seeds. You have your cranberry hibiscus, about 10 seeds. Egyptian spinach, about 50 seeds. Amaranth, um, the Hopi red dye, about 50 seeds. Biden's alba or Spanish needle, 25 seeds. Roselle or sorrel, more commonly called sorrel, approximately 10 seeds. Lufa, 
about five seeds and then daikon radish about 30 seeds so again these numbers uh, can definitely change but that's what we're at as of the time of the filming now for those of you just getting new to these plants you will see we have two different um, two different reproductive methods here you have cuttings which are literally cuttings of the branches and then you have seeds this is a larger seed and they can be very very small the size of a pinhead so we've chosen based on some of these can produce both by seed and cutting but we've chosen the method that has the highest level of success and productivity i don't know if you can tell but i am just full of excitement and inspiration about this bundle planting it myself and sharing it with all of you now i want to share it's easy with things like this to forget the value of them. If you were to go out and source all of these plants on your own, piecing it together from different nurseries, you could easily spend a few hundred dollars and a whole lot of time like researching each and every different place plus shipping from different places and a lot of these just aren't available in cuttings. So you could easily spend a few hundred dollars or even five hundred dollars if you're not able to find them from the simple cuttings. So we're, we're elated to be able to provide this to you at a suggested donation at something that's super accessible and can turn into a food forest foundation, into a survival garden, into an incredible bounty of food. This bundle really provides you enough to get started and get a very, very solid start. Now, along with this bundle, we have the education to help you to actually never have to buy another plant again if you wanted to. There is some real abundance here. So from this, you'll learn how to propagate these and how to produce more of all of these plants to the point where you have hundreds or thousands of cuttings and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of seeds to grow a bigger garden than you ever could really manage and to be able to share this with your community. Once you become a plant person, you start to experience real abundance. Like Ron Finley says, growing your own food is like printing your own money. The other thing is community. So once you have these going and you have these cuttings, you can trade these cuttings for other plants. There's dozens of other plants that are excellent for, the, for a food forest in Florida, that are excellent for a survival garden, and you can trade these for others so that you can literally not have to buy plants again using the abundance you got here from this one bundle and exchanging and trading with others. Another recommendation for that is volunteering at community gardens and farms and in exchange receiving the fruit trees, the cuttings that you need to expand the garden. Again, we are just overjoyed to share this with you and we are equally joyed that we have created this step-by-step -step guide, both via this video series and via the online step-by-step -step guide. So you can learn how to plant all of these plants, how to care for them, how to propagate them, how to harvest them, and how to eat them and really take in the nourishment of these foods. We are excited for you to break free from the global industrial food system by growing your own food.